presented by Funky Sheet. Hello everybody, my name is Minko and welcome to Would You Rather. Now I've played this before, I think once. I tried it again and I messed up, which you know, happens sometimes a lot really. Probably a lot of footage that you've never seen because I cocked it up. Anyway, the point of this is you get given two choices and you have to pick the one you'd rather. Very simple. So we're going to start off, would you rather raise a family with Samuel L. Jackson or raise a family with Vin Diesel? Now this, for me, is quite an easy choice, having heard Samuel L. Jackson's rendition of Go the Fuck to Sleep. I'm going to go for that one. Ah, Vin Diesel is actually the majority answer there. Okay. Get to the next one. Right. Would you rather play a game of Quidditch or take a field trip with Miss Frizzle? Now the description down below, which you um, can't see, says that Quidditch is the magical sport from Harry Potter. Miss Frizzle is the teacher from the Magic School Bus series. Now I know I have seen the Magic School Bus, but I don't remember a thing about it. Apart from obviously there's a school bus involved, which is magic in some way. Uh, so I'm going to go for Quidditch here. I think I'd quite like to play Quidditch anyway. If you were a musician, would you rather be Eddie Vedder or be Freddie Mercury? Now if we're answering this with both musicians in their present state, then I think Eddie Vedder is the obvious answer here, you know, being the one that's uh, still alive. Um, and let's just say, um, we just sort of inherit their musical abilities, their style of singing. Uh, I know Eddie Vedder plays ukulele, because he had that ukulele songs album. Uh, I'm guessing he plays guitar. I mean, uh, I'm not sure, I haven't actually seen him doing it. I don't tend to watch music videos very often. Um, and he's got a fantastic voice. Um, really, uh, I really love the um, sort of tone that he has in his voice. But Freddie's vocal range is absolutely out of this world. And then you've got the piano playing um, ability. Um, I think just for sheer vocal range, I'd go for Freddie Mercury because you can kind of sing whatever you want. I think Eddie's voice is fantastic for, you know, what it is, but there's less of a, a variety about it. Yeah, Freddie wins. Would you rather have a stylist do your hair and makeup every day? or have a fashionista pick you a new outfit every day. Now, I'm sure that you're thinking, well, you clearly need neither of those things. You know, the hair, yeah, the face, but the clothes you can't see as well, but I assure you they are fantastic. It's a jeans and a t-shirt, kind of, all the time. So, um, I'm going to say not so much the makeup side of things, but the hair. I don't know if it's uh, happening now. Let me just check the web. There's this kind of bit here that keeps like coming like, coming down like that. It's really annoying. It always happens. I need that sorting out. So yeah, hair and makeup thing, which is the uh, minority. Okay. Would you rather have to end every sentence with a racial epithet? or have to drop two F-bombs in every sentence. Now, some people who might be watching this will think that I tend to swear a lot anyway, and I think that's probably going to be more acceptable than ending every sentence with a racial epithet, especially because um, I think if I was talking to someone and you know, I dropped the two F-bombs in a sentence, I could easily sort of say, look, this is a thing I've got, I've 
have to do two in a sentence, that's it. But if I'm talking to someone who happens to be of a different uh, skin colour, and I, I use a slur against that, then it's a lot more difficult to explain that before you get punched in the face. You're more likely to be punched in the face for being racist than for swearing, I think. So, the two F-bombs. Would you rather own a horse in the city or own a cat in the country? Um, if I had a horse in the city, where, 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 where exactly is that going to be? I'm assuming they I mean like a really busy kind of city traffic everywhere. You know, the kind where all the houses are sort of jammed up together flat. So now you're going to get a horse that would be flat. Um, yeah, a cat in the country. Obviously. Would you rather have 20 million YouTube subscribers or produce a blockbuster action movie? Okay, so... 20 million subscribers, I'm guessing that these are going to be people that watch content regularly rather than just having 20 million like, as a figure and then there's only a few of them watching it. Um, I'm guessing that, yeah, they all watch it a lot. So that is going to be great and obviously doing YouTube is something that I enjoy doing. Um, don't think I've quite got 20 million subscribers. I would give or take a few, maybe. No, I don't know. Um, now, I love movies. Um, and I'd love to be able to get into film, but I'm not sure that producing a blockbuster action movie would be what I'd want to do. I, I'd, uh, in a dream scenario, I'd like to act in a blockbuster action movie. And, uh, yeah, I mean, no, it's not a very realistic goal, is it? Um, not exactly Dwayne Johnson over here. But um, if producing it means that I'm, you know, that's what I have to do. I have to produce it rather than direct it, act in it, whatever. Uh, write the theme tune, sing the theme tune. Um, I'm going to go for the 20 million YouTube subscribers. Thing, because that also suggest that I can make whatever content I want for those 20 million subscribers. Uh, producing a blockbuster action movie, it's A, and it's action. It's, you know, a lot more limited. Hmm. That's a close one, but I'm not in the medium majority there. Okay, would you rather be one foot smaller than you are right now, or be one foot taller than you are right now? Now I am five foot eleven, so it's gonna be four foot eleven or six foot eleven. So, um, I think I, I'd rather be a foot taller. Um, I mean, there's no real reason as to why I, I'd want that. But, yeah, good answer, well done me. Would you rather control the elements or control time? So controlling the elements would be very useful here, especially given that I have had to hack ice off my car several times in the recent uh, times. I kind of started that sentence, forgot where I was going with it, and it, it, it kind of went to hell, didn't it? But yeah, ice, car, stuff, bad. Um, controlling time, that would be quite useful. Um, because I get bored very easily, and uh, just being able to skip to the next cool thing that's happening would be fantastic. Um, I 
Yeah, and also, you know, it's the uh, ability to give yourself more time to do certain things. You know, if you've if you've got a job that needs doing within an hour, and it's going to take an hour and a half to do, slow down time, get it done. Beautiful. Yeah, control time. Okay, this is an interesting one. Uh, would you rather produce a low-budget film with your best friend and have the time of your life, or produce a Hollywood blockbuster with people you detest and make a ton of money? <laughs> the answer that I pick here is important, just in case this happens to be the one video that my friends actually watch, uh, because producing a low budget thing with my best friends is kind of what I'm doing uh, at the moment. So yeah, would you rather be confined to a wheelchair? For the rest of your life and be able to have children or be able to walk but unable to have children. I don't want kids. Very easy one there. Okay, so I'll do one last one, I think. Okay, would you rather have Pokemon be real or superheroes exist? Now, okay, the description of this says, yes, you could be a Pokemon trainer or perhaps a superhero. You would not be able, to, uh, you would not be allowed to pick your powers, which would be given randomly to selective citizens. Okay, so I could end up with the power to turn things into crisps or something stupid like that. And. It also implies that if there are superheroes, then there are going to be super villains, which is bad. So the chances of me being murdered to death are quite high. Whereas in the Pokemon kind of thing, it's. Yeah, people can use them for bad, but. It's a lot more of an even playing field, if that is where we're going with this. And also, Pokemon are awesome. And, and I think that's probably going to be a lot cooler. And I'm being kind of ruled by nostalgia here. But yeah, I'm going to go for the Pokemon one. Yeah, that's close. Close, but... Mm. Anyway, that is uh, Would You Rather, or Iva.io, whatever you want to call it. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I will see you again whenever I do this again. I'm probably going to do it in, uh, some more in the future, or with whatever else I'm doing. So thank you for watching, take care, and goodbye.